Shit. I, this is... So, another day... Another video where I talk about Familiar Zero. Now, obviously... D you've read the title, so duh. I just finished Season 3 of Familiar Zero. And honestly, I gotta say... This show just keeps getting better and better with every season I watch. Like, seriously, like... It's gotten really good. I've got to put some stuff here to hold this. Because, for some reason, like... This thing doesn't want to stay. Shit. Uh, fuck. <laughs> okay. But, yeah. I have been watching... For those who, for those who don't know, over the past couple months, I have been watching The Familiar of Zero all the way through. I did a video on season one, what I thought about it. I did a video on season two, and what I thought about that, and now we're going on to season three. So season. Obviously, season three continues where season two ended, of course. You know, where Saito died, but then came back to life by a wood fairy or what, or a healing fairy or whatever Saito referred to her, the one who saved, who brought him back to life as. Again, it's been a while since I watched season three. So, I am mean, three, not three. Season two. So, yeah. What? And so, I'm like, yeah. And, like, I watched the first half of season three, and then I didn't watch it for, like, two or three weeks. And then, last night, I started, like, continuing it again. And then, I just finished it before recording this. Now, season three was is again the probably the is the best season so far. Like, don't get me wrong, this show was every season was amazing. Season one was great. Season two was better. And season three, holy shit, was season three amazing. Now, I do need to point out that after this video, I will be making one more video on The Familiar of Zero, and that's for the fourth and final season. There wasn't a movie made, at least to my knowledge. There's only four seasons in. Talk about season three. So, what did I think of season three? Well, as I mentioned a couple minutes ago, season three continues where season two left off. Saito showing up to the academy, saying that hey, I'm saying hey, I'm alive. I was rescued by this one fairy, and the fairy actually turned out to be a half elf. Yeah, a half elf who, at this point. Is probably my favorite character now. Like, don't get me wrong. I still like Louise. I still like Louise as a character. But... The half-elf Tafania... Obviously... Is a really good character. Like... Yeah, she's not... Too useful. But... Like, Kyuke was fucking god. Kyuke was really useful in seasons 1 and 2. First, she's like halfway gone. She was gone for half of season 3. Pretty much. And then the second, well, the first half of season 3, she was pretty much gone. So she was of no use then. But the second half of season 3, she came back. And it turns out, Colbert is alive. When he died at, when he died the last, 
what was it, the episode 10, 11 of season 2 when he died? Yep, turns out he was alive after all. So, like, that's, that surprised me. Because, again, I the dude was fucking, the dude was dead. And apparently he was alive, so that got, that fucking surprised me. But anyways, yeah, back to Tefania. Like, with Tefania, like, she was had when Saito, Louise, and the others that were with them at the time. Again, Kirke wasn't with them during the first half, pretty much. So, yeah, and yeah, she wasn't there. But Tafania was afraid that someone was trying to get her, and when Saito. Ran up to Tefania and said it was him. She was happy. And you know you have the classic jealous Louise stuff. Like the classic Louise. I hate big boobs. It's not my fault. I'm flat. Like, you know that kind of thing. That's what basically what. You know that's what. She was doing pretty much. The vast majority of the season. Especially when Tefania and obviously Siesta were around. Yeah, it's getting old. It's starting to get really old. But at the same time, it's still also pretty funny. <laughs> but yeah. The reason I say Tefania is probably my favorite character is now is because... While she's not the most useful, she's not useless. Like, she's obviously got potential. Like, like Louise did back in season one. Like, Louise couldn't do any form of magic whatsoever. Until the final episode of season one. Where it's revealed that she is a void mage. Everything that happened in season one was built up to built up to that moment, and it was an incredible moment. And Tefania is basically going through the same thing. Like, yeah, she's not exactly the most useful character, but at the same time, she's not useless. Like, she obviously got her potential, and she actually did help throughout the second half of season three. Now, what also shocked me is Tefania and Henrietta are actually cousins. Like I, I saw I saw that. Like wow, that's actually pretty interesting. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, and then Tefania went to join the academy, where of course all the men were hitting on her. I don't blame them. But all the girls are, like, jealous of her because she was getting all the attention and they weren't. And then they were, like, treating her like shit when they found out she was half-elf. And then at the end of that episode where they treated her like shit, like, they all accepted her into the academy and... That was basically, like, the first half of... Season 3. Pretty... It just summarized in a nutshell, pretty much. Now, the second half... Obviously, I mentioned Colbert turn, came, turned out to be alive. But we finally got... A glimpse of... Another... We finally got a new villain re reveal. Well, technically, we got two villain reveals. We got Sheffield, who is also a Void Mage. And we got... Joseph, Charlotte's, oh, I should say Tabitha, but her real name is Charlotte, but you know, she's, her name is Tabitha in the Academy for different reasons. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that back in 
my video where I talked about season one, what I thought about that. But yeah, not only is Sheffield the villain, but Ta but Tabitha's uncle is also a villain. He's trying to kill Tabitha, just like. And it turns out again, heavy spoilers. By the way, heavy spoilers. Turns out that her own Tabitha's uncle killed her dad. Like her dad was the original king of, you know, Tabitha's home, but then her uncle killed him and became king afterwards. So they appointed this other elf they appointed this elf guy whose name I don't really care for because I'm pretty sure I'm, we're never going to see him again after, you know, he conceded defeat in episode, near the end of episode 11 of season 3. And then, yeah. she th he, They appointed him to capture Tabitha so he, Tabitha's uncle can kill her. Again it's, again, it's fucked up, I know, because it's her uncle trying to kill her. Like, that's fucked up, bro. That's family issue. That's a lot. And you thought Baldur's fucking family was fucked up. Baldur from God of War, you thought his family was fucked up. You know, well, he wanted to kill his own, kill Freya because, you know, she made it to where he couldn't feel the pain, he couldn't die, anything like that. And he hated her ever since. Until he died. Because, you know, Kratos just, like, snaps his neck. To save Freya. And then she wants to kill him. And, you know. Anyways, I'm not talking about God of War. This video. This is about Familiar of Zero. But. Yeah. And then. Saito. Louise. Geesh, who I'm actually starting to get a liking to now. Like, the first half of the series, I, I did not like Geesh. Especially in season one. I fucking hated Geesh. But I'm actually starting to like the dude now. The dude is actually pretty fucking funny. He's actually growing a lot. I'm actually growing a liking to the guy. The dude's fucking starting to get funny. But, Yeah. Saito, Louise, Geesh, Montmorency, Colbert, fucking Kierke, like others. And Tabitha's sister. Yeah, Tabitha has a sister who is also her familiar. Like the dragon familiar Tabitha rides. Yeah. That's her sister, kind of, pretty much, which is, which fucking shocked me as well, because I'm like, wait, because after the second half of the, after the first half of the second, se third season, I'm like, wait, she has a sister? And then, a few episodes later, yeah, we meet the sister, but it turns out the sister was there since the first episode. <laughs> Because the sister was the dragon familiar the entire time. And it's like, holy shit. <laughs> and then, yeah. When Saito and the others went to Henrietta to try to, like, get her permission to save Tabitha, Henrietta said no. So what did they do? They gave up their aristocrat st statuses to try to get to try to save Tabitha, and as a result, were arrested. Louise included, you know, Henrietta's best friend, also arrested. Gave up her aristocrat status just to save Tabitha, and the reason why Tabitha helped save them many times throughout the first two seasons. So. Yeah, Louise thought, you know, it would help her, help make them even. So, yeah, she gave up, she gave up pretty much everything to, you know, return the favor for a change to Tabitha. And was ultimately arrested. But of course, you know, they 
were broken out with the by the with the help of Colbert and Kirke. They broke out. Went to where Tabitha was being held captive. While Colbert Colbert and the others distracted the Royal Guard. Also ended up getting arrested, but then Agnes, you know, the lady who tried to kill Go Colbert in season two, because it turned out he was the one that burned her home village down, and ever since then she's tried to kill him. But when she, but she actually set him free, even. Because it's like one of those. While I don't forgive you, like, I wouldn't forgive myself if I killed you out of anger, uh, out of respect for your students. So, you're free to go. But, you will have to suffer some sort of punishment by the Queen later. Colbert agreed. And, yeah, then they helped. And, you know, the classic, like, last episode showdown happened and... Yeah, season three was really fucking good. Season three was really good. Now, <sighs> unfortunately, I've got twelve more episodes of the show left. Yeah, one season left of the show. It it's an amazing show. It really is. Again, I'm just giving a brief summary of whenever I make these videos, I just give a brief summary and what I think about the season. But yeah, that's that's what I think of season three. It was again probably the best season so far. Like I'm sure season four is most likely going to get even be even better because again. Season 1 was great. Season 2 was better than Season 1. And then Season 3 just kind of just blew those other two out of the water. I'm excited to see what Season 4 brings. Again, it's only like 12 episodes, so I don't have much left. But, yeah, honestly, if you haven't seen Familiar Zero, again, unfortunately, only the first season is... D first thir season, 13 episodes, is dubbed. So seasons 2, 3, and 4, you're going to have to watch subbed. And back when I made my video on what I thought of season 1, I wasn't sure if I wanted to like wa continue watching it when it was subbed. Because I like to watch anime dubbed, if at all. Because if it's not dubbed, like, I'm... Yeah, no thank you. But... Honestly, with a familiar of zero, I'm honestly pretty glad I did continue to watch it, even if it is subbed. Because, again, the show got the show is amazing. Like when I made that video on the first season, I'm like, when I said, while it's not the best anime, it's not bad. Like, it's actually really fucking good. It's a really good show. I've enjoyed it. But yeah, unfortunately, there's only one season left. And after that season, that's it. I've got one more video to make on Familiar of Zero. And that's it. But yeah, this show, this show is really fucking good. It really exceeded my expectations. Because I also read... I saw people saying like... Oh, Familiar of Zero isn't that great. Oh, it's bad. Oh, oh, only the three seasons dubbed. It's actually really fucking good. It's hilarious, too. Like, yeah, you have your sad moments. You have your... Oh, cool action moments, but then you've also got the hilarious moments as well as, you know, the lovable moments where you just want what's best for, you know, Louis, Saito, you know, 
it's one of those shows that gives you basically fucking everything. So it is um it's absolutely amazing. Uh, so yeah. Again, I'm honestly glad I did decide to continue watching Familiar Zero after, you know, watching the first season, which is the only one that again was dubbed. Cause this show got this show is amazing. But yeah, that's all I really have to say. Thanks for watching. And probably going to get a VR chat do video done tomorrow. So, again, thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.